I had a partner um, two years ago, a uh, week before Christmas, um, I was stabbed um, from my partner. Um, it was um, through alcohol, um, my partner and um, drugs. So the first thing I knew, um, he was sat on my chest with his hand around my throat. And um, I woke, like, obviously I woke up like that and he was shouting and screaming at me. Going absolutely, and obviously I'd just woken up to that, so I was, you know, I didn't really know what was going on. He was 13 years older than me, as well, so he was, you know, he was like a grown man, and I'm, you know, and I just thought, no, I've got to get out of here because the look in his face, I just knew, and I thought, no, I've got to get out because if you don't, it's gonna, it will absolutely, you know, kill me. And, and then I came, I think it was about one o'clock in the morning, and. Uh, and I can remember thinking, the kids are in there, what am I going to do? Our real passion is to create a community, an absolute safe community for the women, but the fun, happy, relaxed, safe security for the children. Uh, the first 24 hours, some of them are frightened, fearful, clingy, they cry, but I know through experience that that's going to change. We work very closely with agencies such as education, health, um, the police and also like I said the forced marriage unit, um, the child investigation um, unit. I am a support officer at the Butterfly Project and the Butterfly Project deals with women fleeing domestic violence um, who have additional needs such as mental um, health issues, substance or alcohol misuse um, issues, women who basically sometimes actually get declined going to other refuges. I wouldn't have been um, where I am now if it weren't for the refuge. I would have been down another wrong path. If you know me before, I had, well, nothing. Um, and I didn't have nothing to look forward to, but now I have goals. I'm doing a degree in applied social work, and um, hopefully want to go on to work with young people. I've just finished my second year. I uh, do start my final year in September. Dermot Living has helped me uh, by Obviously giving me the chance to get back on my feet, um, providing me with somewhere to stay. Um, I was here for nine months, so a long time. Um, the support while I was here from all the staff was great. Um, it was, there was always somebody there, you know, if need be. And I love helping people change their lives. I love being part of it. I love being, I love the satisfaction that you get from helping someone move from one milestone to another.